Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do a quick love reading for you. So we're going to see how you feel about your person and how your person feels about you or whomever you're coming to the reading for. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. Gemini, how do you feel about your person? I feel a real calm energy. You have the two of wands, so you feel like, you know, maybe you have a choice or your person has a choice to make between you and something else or you and someone else. A knee jerk decision. Yeah, uh, the strength card. So you feel like this person is holding something back from you. Uh, they want to keep this relationship as maybe like, you, you know, real passionate, sexual, um, sensual. They don't really want to open up to you. Their pride and their ego is getting in the way. Uh, how do you feel about how does Gemini feel about their person? Let's see. Okay, so you feel like you could be dealing with a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Five of Cups. So you feel like your person um, may have fumbled the relationship and they're very sad about it. Uh, maybe they even want to come back. They might want to recover the connection. Definitely Scorpio coming up. The Three of Cups. Yeah, they definitely want to recover this connection. That's how you feel about this. They could be telling other people, especially if you guys have, you know, same friend group, other people that they want the relationship back. They want you back. They're declaring, communicating something to you that they, they want the relationship. They feel like you're the one that got away. Um, they see all, they see you victorious, triumphant. Justice card, definitely a masculine energy. Somebody wants to make something right. Somebody didn't do right by you. Um, you you know that, and this is how you feel about your person. You feel like they want to come back and make something right, right their wrongs. They feel karmically indebted to you. Eight of Cups. You feel like they want to come back to you. They were wandering, or they are wandering. And, you know, they want to wander their ass back home, too, to you. Um, they found it out in the world that, you know, nothing will suffice. Nothing is better than the Gemini. So they want to come back. This it could be you also. Um, but this is how you feel about your person. All right. So let's see how your person feels about you, Gemini. How does Gemini's person feel about them? How does Gemini? Okay. The Queen of Cups. So you got the King over here, Queen over here. So it's a lot of love. They still, they feel like you still have a lot of love for them. You have a very layered personality. I heard you can sing or you can act or you can do something. You have a gift that you can share or that you need to share with the world. They feel five of wands. Um, you, you're very fiery. There's a lot of playfulness and a lot of banter with you and sexuality and sensualness or sensuality. Uh, let's see. They feel as if maybe there's competition around you or s surrounding you also. You could be the other woman too. This could be some type of love affair. How does this person feel about Gemini? Uh, the Seven of Swords. So they feel like you're keeping something from them. That you really just want to go it alone. That you're hiding something. That you run from one place to the next. One relationship to the next. You're back and forth. You're in and out. You're trying very hard to keep something under wraps. Secret. Masquerading like something is not when it really is uh, let's see you're really the lone wolf you're gonna leave them holding the bag um you're gonna leave them hurt this is how they feel about you let's see how they feel about you the princess of pentacles they may feel like everything you're saying is wordplay you know it's not real or you haven't really shown in, in action you haven't been consistent or they want consistency from you they feel like you have more than one suitor opportunity you need to make a choice um how does this person feel about gemini uh the seven of pentacles they feel like this is just a temporary period of no activity between the two of you but you guys are going to come back together something is not finished something is has not been made you know the circle hasn't been closed something hasn't matured the hierophant they feel like maybe you guys need to go to counseling therapy get some type of guidance they want things you know, they feel like, yeah, the status quo, they want things like it used to be. However, you used to be together. That's how they want things to be. Um, they feel like the universe is trying to bring you two back together, two very different dynamics to back together or bring you two together. Let's see what is Gemini's next move here. The lovers. OK, so it could be somebody that came in between the relationship. You know, you, you either have to choose the lovers the soulmate choice or the twin flame choice or um you, you could have it could be you know some long lasting implications of not choosing the right person it's like gemini knows that a choice needs to be made here 
Um, so Gemini's in their own energy of maybe, you know, kind of having two sides, dualistic, you know, um, but knowing that a choice needs to be made. Uh, let's see how, what's the next move of Gemini's person? The page of cups so they could come to you, say something real sweet to you, Gemini. Um, trying to get you to talk to them, maybe romance you. Or they feel like they need to be more romantic towards you. Uh, reconciliation, the sweet nothings, dates, trips, tell you about your beauty, all of that. Um, let's see, what's the energy between Gemini and that person? Okay. So the five of swords, both of you have said really nasty things to each other in the eight of swords. So this is a test, a trial of how strong this this relationship will be or is, or if you guys can overcome, if you can get out of this cycle, this negative cycle, if you guys can, in the face of adversity, push through, or will you allow for everything? Every time you come together, it always reverses. It always goes backwards. So this is a test, a trial um, of your faith, of your willpower. Will you be the empress? Will you have a new start, a new abundant start together? Or will it always be the eight, the five of swords and the eight of swords, tough words, and then someone feeling like I shouldn't even have let you in anyhow because um, I knew your nature. Okay, that's what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. If you know you got to make a choice, go ahead and type choice down there in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. But before you do that, here on the community tab in YouTube, go ahead and get a discount code on the community tab and then head over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.